thing that inspired me most really is nothing to do with pediatric glaucoma, um, it's to do with pediatric cornea. I do infant corneal transplants for children with things like Peter's anomaly and sclerocornea. And um, in November 1997, six weeks before I was going to go for my fellowship, I was a senior registrar at Oxford Eye Hospital. I see a baby come in with bilateral Peter's anomaly, bilateral cloudy corneas, and I went to my attending, who was a very good ophthalmologist, a very good person, and I said, oh, so who do we send this baby to for, to do something about the corneas? And I remember him very straightforwardly, very matter-of-factly saying, uh, actually, uh, nobody does corneal transplants for these children in this country because this is in, the, in England, because they don't, they don't work, they all fail. So we'll have to explain that to the parents. And essentially, we just said to the parents that this child was going to be blind. Uh, six weeks later, I packed my bags, I go to Toronto. And in my first three weeks there, I did a clinic for a man called Dave Rootman, who was an adult cornea surgeon. He used to come and do a clinic at Sick Kids. And I call out the first name. And this child, who was about four, navigates his way very happily through all the crowded clinic, comes and sits on the chair. And it says in his notes that he's got Peter's anomaly. And I said to the mother, oh, he's very lucky it was very mild. And she takes out a picture of this child's eyes when he was born. And they were worse than the child's eyes that I'd seen in England six weeks earlier. And I looked at her. She said, oh, yeah, Do Dr. Rootman's done two corneal transplants in one eye and one corneal transplant in the other eye. And this child had 21-20 vision, 21-25 vision which is not great vision, but more than being blind, right? And uh, that moment inspired me. I realized that uh, there were children in the United Kingdom that weren't getting the treatment that they deserved. So when I went back, I started the pediatric cornea service. There had been a couple of people who had done the odd case. Um, Shiraz Dyer was one of those. But he encouraged me to set up the service. And so we set up a pediatric cornea service. Uh, based at Great Ormond Street uh, for these, specifically for these children, which thankfully is still running.